Okay. Now we're, we're going one by one through these various topics because the first one here is Roger Craig Smith has quit as Sonic. I have no idea what the pro point of this is, but I think it's interesting that it's coming out now because, okay, so he, he's been playing Sonic for 10 years. His last role for, as Sonic is going to be in Pew Pew Tetris 2. That's interesting because <laughs> it's, it's weird that his, his, his last entry isn't even a Sonic game. Um, but I think that this might mean we're going to be getting some Sonic news very soon. Hopefully we do, because I, 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 we've been waiting to see what, what happens. But this also is interesting because it relates to something else we've heard. It's unfortunate. Say this is a great huge grain of salt. The thing that can make it salt believable is the fact that they talk about Sonic series in 2022, which you know is true since Netflix tweet about it in December, even if they, they then deleted said tweet. But it's an interesting read nonetheless. Okay, so let's dig into this post. Okay, yeah, uh, wait, I messed up. There we go. Okay, so this is something about something called Sonic Rift. I might go too much into it, but one of them, uh, the game has two to play characters, Sonic and Amy. That could be interesting, and Sonic and Amy, it, may, it could make sense because Sonic and Amy are, have similar, um, there's, there's a similar build, similar gameplay in that case. Uh, and, but Amy is different enough that she can do do a lot different, and they can always easily throw in Shadow too if they want to, if they want to focus on some sort of idea here that's of similar playable characters. Uh, let's talk about some things like new writers or anything, but there's something interesting of note. Um... Okay, the game is a soft reboot with a new voice cast. Then what so Adventure 06 and Cars did. The characters like they're younger, they represent their a representative ages better. So this is interesting because this is the first mention at all of any uh, sort of voice change. And we just learned, of course, that Roger Craig Smith quit. He, he, he quit or was fired or whatever. Um, the fact that Roger Craig Smith is talking about this now tells me that... Um, we might it might it might be that they're they're doing recording now and that's why he, he only found about us now or maybe something else going on I'm not sure but it's just interesting that this came out now so we'll we'll see if this means anything or if we're getting any information soon I'm fully expecting some sock news soon but it's hard to say when it'll happen uh, okay next next one okay Platonic the former rare devs that went on work in ukulele and the Apostle Lair announced they're going to rebrand the studio. The rebranding is done, being done for a good reason. It's hard to say what this means. Um, I see a lot of speculation that suggests that uh, ukulele, um, the devs of ukulele, uh, might be being bought out by a company. And I've seen people saying, "Well, they'd be bought by Microsoft." I, I highly doubt they're being bought by Microsoft. Um, the, the 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 problem is that that's exactly what they um, were were trying to get away from in the first place. What they were trying to get away from was having to work with Microsoft. So, I, I mean, they, they quit Rare because because they were under Microsoft. Um, right now, I don't think they're a, pri a publicly traded company. So, I don't know. That, that just doesn't make much sense to me. I think that what's probably the case here is that uh, either... I, I think the most likely situation is uh, Play Talk is going to rerun themselves to something like... Ukulele Studios or something like that. I don't know for sure. It's just some idea. The other possibility is they're being bought by a different company. I don't see them being bought by Microsoft. Maybe Nintendo. Um, maybe Nintendo could work. They, they did have closer relationship than Nintendo, but who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, okay. Now, speaking of talking about Nintendo, of course, Nintendo just. We, we know, of course, that Nintendo bought next level games earlier this year, at least. They announced they were going to, and um, we're also coming up on the uh, the nine months earnings, so that is uh, coming up soon too. The announcement is happening on Monday, so naturally I am definitely gonna be discussing it when it happens. Um, it will be coming out in the middle of the night, so I'm I'm not gonna be up for it when it happens, but I will come in the morning and do a, do a stream, and we're gonna talk about what what happens there. Main thing is, I wonder if we get. I think we might see more games pop up in their. Um, I think we might see more games pop up in the earnings release as having hit 10 million copies, uh, having hit a million copies sold this fiscal year. 
uh, could be something like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I don't know if it will or not, but s some games have been popping up in there that have uh, vastly exceeded their, their expectations from what they should have realistically had. And I could see uh, more games falling into that role now. I think, um, yeah, or Ring Fit Adventure, I think, went back up again in that area, even though they had already sold like $3 million last year, last fiscal year, so now they're up again in there. Um, another one was, I'm not sure what the other ones were, but there, there's a few that surprisingly sold a lot more. They uh, surpassed $1 million this year, in addition to last year as well. I could see more from older years coming back and surpassing those numbers because of stuff going on that, that caused uh, more people want to buy games. So we, we could see something interesting there. I am very interested to see what happens here. Uh, of course, we aren't going to know anything about future games at this point, but I fully expect uh, I fully expect a direct or something in February. I wanted that's also what I want to delve into too because um, there's some interesting things coming out. Uh, okay, yeah, and again, uh, Nintendo, I once want to discuss the next level game situation a little bit because, tying back to the Platonic, Nintendo doesn't tend to buy companies that often, but they tend to, they do buy companies that are close to them, and I don't know if Platonic falls into that idea or not, but Rare Formula was, and Nintendo didn't have the opportunity to do with them, so maybe it could play into play Platonic, I don't know. I, again, I don't think Playtime is being bought out. I just think they're going to rebrand themselves to something like Ukulele Sue or something, but it's something to think about. So, uh, let's talk about Super Mario a little bit because um, I'm not going into. I'm not buying Super Mario 3 World. I'm just looking through here and trying to figure out. Um, I've seen people saying that it sounds like it's short. The, the new Bowser's Fury Mode, and well, basically what it sounds like is the Bowser's Fury Mode is basically just one big, um, it's basically just a, a kingdom in Super Mario Odyssey. So, Odyssey is a pretty big game on its own, uh, and but basically, each individual kingdom is kind of short, but this thing could be actually decently long to try and get everything in it. Maybe around 7 hours, which may seem short for uh, what, what people would expect, but I didn't really expect this thing to be that big, personally. I never expected this thing to be that huge. But if it's if there's a lot of good content here, and it's it's fun like a like a new um, if it's pretty fun like a new entire um, you know, a, a came from our Odyssey, that could be interesting. Uh, so hard to say what's gonna happen with this, but I don't expect it to be massively huge or anything. Fury Bowser is essentially a take on Zelda Breath of the Wild's Blood Moon. Okay, interesting. So, uh, this could be nothing, but it could also tie into what I've been talking about before. Ubisoft has changed the official Rabbids account name to Mario Rabbids from Rabbids Official. Now, they've already changed it back. If, if it was, was changed out, it's already changed back. And something else, someone else actually bought, uh, took the uh, Mario Rabbids Twitter account, too. Uh, what well says you approve the change by going to the replies to any given tweet, which says they're being replied to Rabbids Official and Ra Mario Rabbids. The other name has now been taken by a different account, not associated with the brand. I, I already saw that, and it, if, if they changed it back, it makes sense if someone immediately t took it up, but I don't know for sure. But it's just... Okay, just think about this for a second. If a new Mario Rabbids game is coming, and they, they're about to change their name to represent that, wouldn't that mean... Couldn't that mean that, um... It could mean that the game is being announced soon. That's what it could mean. That is interesting because if it is announced soon, again, direct. Uh, so people have been discussing Monster Hunter World and it's uh, you know, a new Nintendo Switch console coming with it. And well, I guess there is, but not really. <laughs> All this is is it's a um, a Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, that's Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Rise. In Monster Hunter Rise, themed in Nintendo Switch. It's just the current version of Switch. It's nothing new. There's nothing new about this. It's just a, a design that, that has Monster Hunter Rise on it. So this is a pretty neat thing, but it's just... It's not that noble. I'm sure it'll sell pretty well, but... It's not really going to be... It's not the, like the, the Nintendo Switch Pro people are expecting or wanting to happen. But... 
That doesn't necessarily mean that there's not going to be a Nintendo Switch Pro. All it means is that it's not happening in March. If, it would, if it's happening, it's probably going to be happening at, in the holidays at this point. Because I don't see them dropping, in, in, dropping a Nintendo Switch Pro in the summer. Uh, now, something that's uh, unrelated to Nintendo. Uh, we have... Um, they apparently... Most Phoenix Rising apparently announced a new DLC. I, have, I don't have the game myself. My sister has it, but I don't have it myself. I haven't tried it yet. It seems interesting. I might try it eventually, but they announced DLC about a month out from the game's release. And um, that's interesting just, just because it, I, I want to tie it into something else. Um, but it, it, it's expected. It's 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 a, a big game that, that they're trying to promote. Of course, they're going to add DLC to it. Of course, they're going to do it. But uh, this just shows that you can, you can announce DLC well after the game, game released. And people are still worrying. I, I haven't checked any, any place right now, but I, I'm sure people are still worrying about Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which it just seems so obvious to get DLC for it, and we haven't seen anything. Are we? Uh, it could be that they're just waiting until a Direct comes out, which, again, could be easily in February, and it's only three months out from the game's release. Uh, that, could be, that could be fine. If we get to a new Nintendo Direct, and we don't... If we do a new Nintendo Direct, we don't have... I was claiming news, then we're not going to be getting DLC for it, probably. Just want, just that's my, my commentary there. Uh, one more thing, there's been a couple of demos. Um, Brave Default 2 demo is out. I'm thinking about trying to stream this. I am. I'm, I'm not sure. Not. I, I, I can. I'll probably at least do the demo itself. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm, I might even consider streaming Brave Default 2 in general. At this point in time, I had not planned on buying the game. I didn't even play the original demo either. But maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, I think also, um, I mean, Bowser Fury, Bowser Fury, Bowser Fury had a uh, a preview event, and um, Balian, Balian Wonderland also had a demo too that you can try out and play. So could be you guys can uh, take a look at those uh, if you want to play these demos. You also get hard platinum coins, but I mean, platinum coins don't do much. <laughs> Uh, so we, we're done with uh, just general news for now. So before we continue on, I want to uh, you know, go back to what I kind of think is going to happen in the near future. Um, first up, of course, we have more than likely we're going to be getting uh, some interesting updates on Nintendo's earnings. So they're, they, have, they, have, they have big sales on the Switch itself. They have big sales on um, Animal Crossing. That's, that's huge. But... I, I really think they, they might add some... They, they might get some new games uh, from past years. Uh, could be DKC Topical Freeze. Could be... Um, uh, Animal, uh, could be... Uh, Kirby Star Allies. I could see these things uh, top 1 million again this year. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. I don't know. I well, We could... We might see them just because people have been buying a lot of games on Switch this year. Uh, so that's one thing. And of course the other thing is Nintendo Direct. I'm thinking by mid February we might see one. I don't want to, you know, just jump to say anything because you never know. I fully expected one. I fully expected a Nintendo Direct back in, um, uh, back in January, and we'd not get one all month. So I don't know what's going on there. But when we get a Nintendo Direct, uh, but here's the thing too, though, we also didn't get a Nintendo Direct partner showcase either. We didn't get a mini. So, because of that, we might very well get a uh, uh, a full Intel Direct in in February. Uh, we'll see when it happens, but regardless, we'll probably get some Smash news. I think we'll get DK announced, and um, I'm just gonna uh, I, I, let's let's just kind of drop it in here. I think that we're going to be getting Golden Sun. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about this, so that that's one that's been rumored for a while now, and I, I think it actually is coming. And it's been a long time since Count released their last game. This is way too long for Margolf. I'm sorry, it is. Um, okay, but let's just uh, move on now. Oh, oh yeah, we, call, we also could see um, Fire Emblem remakes. Maybe not yet. Uh, maybe not yet, but we, we will see Fire Emblem remakes at some point. Um, we're gonna get the next Smash character that's gonna release in March. If the if the if the direct does not have a Smash character in it. Uh, sorry, if the Direct does not have a, um... If the Direct isn't in February, then it'll still be in March either way. But either way, the, the next fire is going to be in March. Um, we are also going to be getting... 
Uh, we're probably gonna get a new Kirby game announced, and we might see Breath of the Wild 2 announced. I'm not, uh, Breath of the Wild 2, um, talked about again. I'm not sure if we will get or not, but I think we most likely will. Uh, that's just a number of things I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna see in an Nintendo Direct in a couple weeks. So, uh, I think that's about it for this month, but if we get some big news over the next few weeks, I'm gonna try and do these, um, do these just overview is on a weekly basis.